look at this this is what we call a drip stone system and homes all across Barbados would have had something like this in their yard somewhere usually in a cool location Barbados is a coral island okay the island is almost 100% made of coral the east coast of the island about 10% is a clay type of material that's why when you look at a map on the east coast with the Atlantic Sea pounding on the east coast, you can see how it's carving out the coastline. That's why Barbados looks the way it looks, okay? Because the east coast is being carved out because it's clay and because it's the Atlantic Ocean pounding. Barbados was settled in 1627 by the British, okay? The British, it was settled rather late. The reason it was settled rather late was that people passed by Barbados. They didn't stop, and they didn't stop because they couldn't see any water, and water is important, okay? On long sailing, that's long sailing journeys, they didn't see any water, they kept moving. What the British realized is the island was lush, so there had to be water somewhere, and because Barbados is a coral, porous island, all of our water is in the ground underground aquifers and rivers okay as a matter of fact Barbados has more water than any other island because it is it is coral the rest most of these West Indian islands or the Caribbean islands are volcanic you know water doesn't permeate through volcanic it, it goes off so I say that to say this these stones are except for the one on the bottom are made from coral stone Okay, this top stone was a hollow stone, it was filled with water. Water would pass through this stone into a less hollow stone underneath. And it would pass through this less hollow stone into a marble container with a, a ladle in the bottom. And that was your drinking water. So coral, the coral stone is, is like a mesh that takes out all the solids. But what purified the water was after a period of time, uh, bacteria would create, be created in the mesh of the coral and that bacteria is what helped to purify the water as the water passed through. Barbados for many years was very proud of its drinking water, okay? Some of the cleanest drinking water in the world. But in modern times things have changed, okay? We have pesticides uh, on agriculture, toilets, sinks, detergents, going into the ground, seeping into the water, going into the near shore marine environment as well and hurting our coral reefs. So our water now has to be treated for it to be drunk. But we still can drink water straight from the taps. So don't be afraid to drink water from our taps. It's still very good, but it's just not as good as it used to be. Okay? So there you have it. Any questions about that? Back to George.